All right, Libra, welcome to your reading. Let's see what is going on, what the messages are for you. Just a quick message to everyone. There is someone impersonating me, scammers active on social media, Instagram. If you receive a DM request, it's not me. I will not DM you or send you any requests, so be mindful of that, okay? So let's see if you want to have access to my real Instagram account. It is all in the description box below. Okay, I feel like I was not ready. I was in my own speech. So let's see, Libra, calling in your energy. What are the messages for you? See, I was not ready. See the switch of this whole energy. We've got the two of cups and the sacral chakra. Ooh, passion ignited. Look at this. Oh my good lord out of a dark place or out of i'm hearing like out of misery there is some love blooming and you have a very deep passionate attraction to someone it looks like some of you or um yeah some of you may have been leaving a third party situation behind while you're moving on bam you just like you know instantly connect with someone and you have like a deep I feel like a deep sexual healing with, hmm, okay, uh, that wanted to come through or that is a given in this connection. Um, however, someone is not ready to give all, okay, I'm hearing like uh, all in or all out and someone is not quite yeti, ready, yeti, okay, yeti quite ready to give it all and that might be the other person you could be dealing with an earth sign uh, this person may have a lot of a, a scarcity mindset all right a lot of traumas um, due to to their past to their childhood issues or due to stability uh, you may feel like someone does not have enough as well because there, there is some instability here okay within the base chakra and the six of pentacles it's like a lack of generosity due to some type of extreme stuff that has happened okay four of wands though foundation achievement and success and the eight of wands i feel like this situation is talkable <laughs> all right it's it's it seems to be a big issue obviously it it brings out a lot of fears, a lot of shadow work, a lot of triggers. Um, I feel like someone is closed off, all right? Like they're not generous, they're not doing a lot, they're not giving. And it's because they have a fear, fear of losing, all right? Fear that if they would give it, that they will lose it. And, and that is kind of like something that is being ignited within this person through this connection to resolve all right and it has to do with material and spiritual abundance and prosperity so there is some type of a lack mindset i feel like a five of pentacles type of energy all right but this is a situation that should be or would be overcome but it would mean that you both need to see eye to eye you know have like a real face-to-face -face conversation because I feel like there is a lot of online communication here with the Eight of Wands. Okay. There's an online communication with the Eight of Wands. And maybe someone is feeling more... Like safer to, to talk this through over the internet. Because they have a fear. It's also what I'm hearing spirits say. So let's see what is going on here. What is going on? Three of Pentacles reversed and the Knight of Swords. Someone is avoiding doing the work. See, the moon. Someone is trying to ask questions, trying to dig deep, and one person does not want to collaborate with that. It's like someone is asking a direct question, and the other one is just like, I'm going to avoid that. I'm going to dodge that. I'm, I'm dodging the direct questions. And because they do this, it does not give in any solution to work things through. There's a lack of collaboration due to someone dodging questions 
okay? It could be like a simple question, but the other person is like, I'm gonna keep it secretive. Uh, because they feel like be, by being secretive, they will attract more admiration or they may be feeling like they're more interesting. And that's what I'm feeling. The two of swords at the bottom of the deck, see this person communicates and then they stop communicating out of the blue. Like whenever there is a question, they're just like having their guards up. All right. And they, they're a little bit flip mode or back and forth. I feel like this person is very confused. Like they're not really listening to their intuition, whomever this is. Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo. Virgo and Pisces energy. They can like both energies can be quite withdrawn energies, right? Like Pisces and Virgo do have that introspection type of energy, daydreaming you know, tuning into their inner temple, trying to figure things out on their own, dealing with insecurities and all of that, right? And really maintaining a lot of boundaries as well as independence. Like they don't like to step into relationships quickly. Five of swords, nine of pentacles. Why is the nine of pentacles here? The lover's card with the temperance. Why is the Five of Swords here? The Emperor. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like there is a chasing energy from, from one person. Lyra, I'm not sure if that is you or not. Or as the other person towards you. But there is here someone that likes to deal with their insecurities on their own. Let me just adjust a little bit, okay? There is someone here that likes to adjust. Okay. That likes to deal with their insecurities on their own. And then there is another person here that truly is trying to keep their distance but at the same time, they're, they're trying to approach this individual with a lot of patience, with a lot of love, you know, like not trying to allow their behavior, their emotional avoidant energy get to them. And the, the, I feel like this is you, Libra. Okay, or maybe this is for a cross watcher, I'm not sure. But someone here in the situation is really trying to be as mature as possible, trying to be quite self-sufficient, working on their business, working on themselves, um, always trying to look good. There is a lot of, you know, also like presenting themselves as like almost flawless, but they're not like that. This is like how they have been working on themselves. And it feels like this is you, Libra, like you, you are definitely taking care of your body, of yourself, of your mental state, your emotional state. Like this is a lot of grounded energy, all right? But yet you feel like you're making the decision to wait for them. This is someone that is waiting for the other person because you know, either you know or you, you have this feeling that this conflict is going to take a while <laughs> and it's like it's it, it, like it's like you know that this conflict is going to take a while I don't know why I'm getting it but it's like a mind game or some type of trickery that this controlling individual is doing and this is the emperor so they have this I don't know give me one more yeah this person is reading you you know, that's why they are controlling. They're, they're, they're throwing in a fit just to see how you're going to re react. These are like triggering warnings. And then they try to take it all back by being responsible or saying something that sounds quite responsible-ish. <laughs> you know, like taking... You know, I hope I can explain that correctly, but this is really someone that throws a bone and then tries to recover it 
by being or acting and speaking up maturely because they know that you know that they just threw a bone to trigger or test you. So they're reading you. You see, they're reading you. They're reading your boundaries. They're reading how you're going to be capable of their, of their games. Two of Wands. This person needs to stop playing games and make make up their mind, make a decision. You know, either they're going to be the abusive. You know, they have some type of resentment within them. Okay, and they're aware of it. The Emperor is aware of everything. They throw the fit. They 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 are like <laughs> the ones that are throwing the fit. So they are aware that they need to change their ways, and they have another option or another way to go at things. Okay, what will they do? Ten of Cups, Six of Cups, Six of Wands, and a Four of Swords. So give this person time to breathe, okay? Like, leave them cold, leave them a little bit un, uh, in the blues is what I'm picking up on because this person does a lot of things to get your attention and... The longer you keep them in a silent treatment or you give them just a space, not a silent treatment, like you don't do that, but give them the space that they need so they can really solve things in their own head and come to a mental balance within themselves so they can actually move forward and overcome their insecurities and move towards this happy connection because they, they do want to offer you something here. Okay. All right. Let's see what more we have for this situation. I mean, if someone is blunt here, and maybe you, are, you have been a little bit blunt. There has definitely been some blunt energy and someone is really diving deep into that blunt conversation, you know, rechecking the whole conversation that has been going down and so many things have still been unsaid here. Okay, so we have perception, rejection, and we've got gratitude. It's getting light here. So, someone is perceiving the direct questions as a rejection. And they're not seeing the, the, the positive side or they're about to see that this actually being asked out of a good intention but the way that this person is asking the questions is making them feel like they are being rejected and they, they need to see the good sides. Oh, that was getting too dark. I'm so sorry. I'm struggling here. <laughs> I'm struggling here. Ooh, someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others say. So they're not revealing you the truth. They're not giving it to you just for the sake of it. Just for the sake of it. They're not wanting to give it to you. And they're not showing their deep, truest intentions. Okay, they're, they're holding on a mirror or face, like, what's it called? Like, um... I don't know what the word is. Never mind that. I just got distracted by it, but I'm so sorry. Hmm. What is this angel of vision? This person has a lack of abundance in their life, and that could be in any type of sense. Um, Maybe they're not doing so well career-wise, or they don't have money, or they don't have a, a lot of a lot to offer. Okay, an argument. 
they're feeling very conflicted. And they're, they're punishing you or they're punishing themselves or there's a lot of punishment here with this whip. They have some problems within the home life. There is some abuse within the home life or they're, they're abusive towards themselves with that moon. That's the one that is psychically being abusive towards themselves because they have this lack mentality of like, I don't have enough. I don't have enough resources. I don't have enough friends. I don't have enough money. And this is becoming like some type of self-punishment for them to stick at home, stick, like stick around the house. Um, and that brings them to an emotional depression. There, there is some depression here. Psychically, this person is not handling things well either. And they're not telling you how they truly feel. Okay, they're, they're battling. This is someone that is most definitely battling their own dark behavior. They're not seeing their true potential is what I'm hearing spirits say. They're not seeing their true potential and the fact that they can create something. So this person has some real issues around, around their stability, even where they live, could be with roommates or family members, like they're being emotionally abused. Yeah, someone is having power over them. And they need to take back the power in order to create stability in their life. They may feel like they're not, yeah, they're, they're living in fear. Like th this does not feel like a peaceful place. And if this person does not have peace, wherever they live and could be even their neighbors bringing up this but it's going to reflect to the outside it's like smoking mirrors that that was what i was getting smoking mirrors see the path they need to follow on a new journey but they have been hesitant okay and i feel like you came into this person's life you're asking questions like hey how are you going to do um in the future how are you going to do this and it triggers this person's fears all right like whatever it is that you've been asking them it triggers their fears infinite supply you are supplied for today's and all your tomorrows and that could be what someone needs to be understanding maybe you as well like this is just a like a phase that you both are going through like you need to take things easy there's no need to hurry or force things to happen as everything is occurring in perfect timing. So you are being supplied for other days, meaning that there is going to be a new chance in this connection for things to be better. Okay, let's, um, let's have an angel card before we move to the extended and I'm going to see where your person is at and what more the messages are. Okay, this person needs to ask guidance from other people, okay? And, and I feel like within a couple of weeks, they're going to be asking a friend or a professional for help because they're aware that whatever they're doing is just self-punishment, okay? And they're going to be very successful at that as well. So, yes, my dear, that was a specific message. I hope that resonated for you all. If you are interested in the extended, you can follow the link in the description box or simply go to theillustilluminator.com and I'll catch you there. Ciao.